You went to a park in the city of Aveiro, Portugal. You see painted walls, old monolithic stairs, pillars resembling trees that support giant walks going around. You explore the whole park. Don't get too cocky, the park is very small. So you decide to explore the outskirts for a change. The first thing to notice are those wide roads with sand, which might rub off your shoes. They could have reduced the width and put good pavement instead. It's not like a massive crowd will go here very often. You go along this desert of dusty roads and you find a street gym. The gym has no equipment. They could have put just a single pull-up bar. Is that so much to ask for? It's not like they lack space or anything. So, so you take a deep breath and turn around. There is literally a frog pond. With a decent piping system, this could have been a lake, a water pond, or even a fountain. Yes, but ingenious architects decided to leave it as a godforsaken ever-growing swamp. But you notice there's even more as you take a closer look. They built houses inside the park, which means they are allowed to do so. Imagine if everyone did the same, placing protective walls all over the place. What would be left of the park then? This can easily be avoided with regulations. But the main architect is too busy with more important matters. So on your way to leaving the park, you take one last look. There's a nice looking skate ramp. Behind it you notice the horizon. It is nothing but a complete wasteland. It is very peaceful though. Boot up the portal and let's explore some more.